A Roanoke mom is turning her pain into purpose after losing her son to gun violence. Tonight, an Attend News exclusive reporter Abby Coleman talked with her about his upcoming funeral and the hope that keeps her pushing forward. They're mimosa trees. I love them. I love They're their pain. Beautiful. Burying a child. It's something no one wants to do. But Friday, Kirsten Cole will lay her 15-year-old son to rest. Have you gotten the chance to, you know, take a breath and really think about tomorrow? Um, no. Yeah. I'm, 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 um... One step at a time. Her son, Isaac Cunningham, was killed on his way home from school last month. Thursday, she decided to take that walk and talk with me about his funeral plans. I'm doing okay. It's, it's beautiful. It it's is. It's beautiful. Just... The it's trees. a beautiful walk it's, home. It really is. It's beautiful. So it's peaceful. I think it's going to be my new walk. She'll take that same walk Friday, surrounded by friends, family, and the community that has stood by her side. And we're going to take Isaac's last walk to and from school. Um, he didn't get to finish his walk for his sophomore year, so yeah. we're going to finish it strong for him. The walk starts near Isaac's house. Then they'll take a moment to stop and reflect near the Ferncliff apartment complex where he was shot. We might still be sad from the service, but when we get over to this side, mm -hmm. we're going to leave our sadness here. And when we go back over, we're going to celebrate Isaac because Isaac wasn't a sad person. No. Before that walk is the service, something Kirsten wants to be untraditional and a testament to Isaac's faith. I, I truly believe Isaac went to heaven. I know he did. He knew Christ for himself. And so... We're going to wear all white so when Isaac sees us, he can, we can look like the angels choir. <laughs> I know he'll, he'll, he'll laugh and say, my mom, made, my mom did that. Kirsten carries a piece of Isaac wherever she goes and hopes his final walk will bring attention to youth gun violence. And now have to wake up every day and this is our reality. Yeah. That's, that's, it's, it's, it's no words to explain the pain. But it's her faith that keeps her taking one step forward at a time. I think when you do have that faith, yeah. it makes it not easier, but there's hope. Yep, yep, and it makes it way lighter. In Roanoke, Abby Coleman, 10 News, working for you.